king. Go ahead. All right, hey guys, for this tutorial, I need to keep this screen on or bright screens there because otherwise you won't be able to see my face. Sad face. Um, but anyways, this tutorial is going to be on an application called Right Zoom. R I G H T Z O O M. It enables you, so whenever you push the screen button, it no longer just resizes the window to however the web page says resize, like Facebook. It would resize it so everything is straight, center, newsfeed, not full screen window. It changes the behavior of that button to make things full screen, as well as allows you to do things with a keyboard command to make a window always go straight back to center, such as if I screw up where iTunes is and I really want to go back and I've got a visualizer on and I'm sick of seeing these white sidebars from other apps behind positioning is very hard even if it's off by one pixel you can still see so that's really annoying so instead I just push command option E and it goes right back to dead center thanks it's syncing my Apple TV cool alright um, so that is right zoom we're gonna download it now um, the link will be in the description once it's downloaded open the application Right zoom, it's a folder, and then this uh, symbol here. First, open it. After it's open, it will open by itself. It, it'll, it'll just work. Now we're going to go back, right zoom again. This time, hold down Command and click it. That's going to open it in the folder. Hold down Command again and double click it. It will open the preferences for it. You want to have activate right zoom checked. You also want to use a hotkey to maximize the windows, such as command option E. So alt command E, or command option E is my hotkey. Applications. You want to go to this bottom one and delete everything from these these preferences, if there are anything. What that's going to tell right zoom to do is work in all applications, because some people don't want that to work in certain apps for some reason. Don't know why, but anyways, that's how that works. And then hit apply, followed by close. Congratulations, right zoom is now installed. But if you reboot your computer, I don't think it's going to be there. So go to your system preferences, followed by accounts, and you're going to look at your login items. Make sure right zoom is in this list and unchecked. Unchecked just means it won't show or pop up on boot. I want this with. Um, cut. I also want mail that way, iTunes helper, and ITV helper. I want none of them to pop up automatically. Transmission, yeah, okay. Um, you actually don't even have to type your password to do that, which is quite nice. Alright, so your login items have now been modified. You can go ahead and close out, and congratulations, you're done. That is right Zoom. And this has been Jonathan. Make sure to check out my website, jpfilms.ca, and subscribe. Rate, comment, etc. All the things you can do. Maybe like, link your account to Facebook, get me out there. And uh, we're almost on my 100th video. So, have a good day, guys. And this is my bedroom, by the way. And you see that text up there? Don't criticize what you cannot understand. I'm going to show you how to make one of those, as, long as, as well as all of the pictures in my room, which are great. I'll link photos, or I'll put photos in at the end of this video. Bye, guys.